Today we're going to make an easy chicken pot pie. It's very savory and it's easy to make and so very delicious. Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. I am Chef Fred, bringing you the best tips and skills for everyday cooking. On this channel, we help you not only learn how to improve your cooking skills, but also review equipment, tools, and strategy. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell notification so that you can be alerted to all of our new uploads. If you are returning, welcome back. Now let's get into today's lesson. So to get started, we're going to use a refrigerated pie crust, frozen vegetables, and a rotisserie chicken. That's what makes this so easy, but so delicious. We're going to cut the whole chicken up and take the meat off the bone. In the description below, you will find a link to a video that I have of how to cut a whole chicken up. Please visit it there. Now we have our beautiful chicken all cut up and in a bowl and we'll just set it to the side right now until we're ready to put it into our pot pie. Next we're going to prepare the surface with some flour for our pie crust. And we're going to just spread it out and then put a little more flour on top and take our rolling pin and we're going to roll it out in the object here is to roll it out because our dish is going to is rectangular so we want to roll this out uh, so that it will fit in the top of the dish and i like to take the dish and just set it on top of it to see that we've rolled it out enough so that we can have it fit on the top of the dish and cover it completely once we're happy with it we're just going to take the pie crust and roll it up on the rolling pin like this so it will be easier to handle and roll over our dish when we're ready for work. Now we're going to take two tablespoons of butter and melt it in our pot and foamy. We're going to take one whole diced onion and saute it in the pan until it is translucent. our onion has become softened we're going to take our frozen vegetables and put those in now and give those a good stir and now we're going to add our salt and pepper to our vegetable it's really important to salt and pepper at different stages as you cook something like this so that it gives good flavor as it goes along and builds. Now we're going to add our flour and begin to stir it around and let it cook to make our roux, which is equal parts of butter and flour to thicken the chicken pot pie with. And after giving that a minute or two to cook, we're going to now add our chicken broth. Now we're just going to give this a good stir so that the flour will break down and begin to thicken this up and we want this to come to a full boil. Once that begins to boil we're going to give it a good stir again and then we're going to add our cream.
Then we're gonna let this hang out for a few minutes and then we're going to add our chicken. Then after that hangs out for about three to four minutes, we're going to take it off the stove to put in our bacon dish. Now we're going to let it set for about 15 minutes or so so that it can cool down because we don't want to put our pie crust on top of it while it's real hot and steamy. It will make our pie crust get soggy and we want a nice crispy pie crust. Once it has cooled down, we're going to roll our pie crust on top of the dish now. And if there's a little bit left over, We'll just fold it over on top so that it makes a nice crust all the way around for us. In the same cup the cream was in, we're going to crack one egg and we're going to beat this together and then we're going to take a pastry brush and brush over our pie crust and then we're going to bake it in a 375 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Now look at that beautiful pie crust and it is nice and bubbly. We're going to let this cool for about 15 minutes before we can serve it. This makes a delicious chicken pot pie. I hope you enjoy making this recipe for your family. Please join us for more of these great recipes. Please share, like, and comment on this video. I read all the comments and try to respond to as many as I can. Until next time, cook something great, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.